This is a powerful love. It is all about you. This is a great love that have no boundary. This is the love that God has given that no man can take away from you. Stop condemning yourself. God has not started with you. You see the things you're seeing right now. This is just leading to what is coming. What is coming in your life is great. What is coming in your life, no one can understand it because God is starting things with you in a big way that even you yourself are going to be amazed. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. Stop allowing men to show you where you are coming from. God knows where he picked you from. God knows who you are before. God knows where you are coming from. God knows who you were before. Stop allowing the devil, the enemies, the agents to keep on showing you those areas you failed before. That was your past. The woman at the pool, when Jesus waited for her and gave her the water that she would test and test no more, she has already condemned herself. She has already isolated herself. But God says, I will show mercy unto whom I will show mercy on. God has showed mercy to you. God has given you that grace by saying, you are the choosing one. You are the one that will carry this message. You are the one that will carry this blessing. Do you think the enemy will be happy? Do you think the enemy will be laughing? No. Any fruit that is ripe attracts a lot of stone. A fruit that is not ripe, they always abandon it there. There is no need of going to stone the fruit because it is of no use to us. They don't have any threat to us. But you see you, the enemy saw and they see what you carry. But they can't stop you. Stop condemning yourself. Stop allowing them to focus your mind or picture you to those things. To those places you have been. That was your past. That place you were coming from, that was your past. Child of God, focus ahead. Because the enemy is trying to make you deviate. To make you lose focus. To make you lose vision of what is coming to you. But do not allow it. Because God loves you. He chooses you. He knows the kind of life you lived before. He knows the kind of way you behaved before. He knows who you are before. If it is to be bought with money, you cannot be here where you are. What a grace and love and mercy of God that brought you this far. And you want to allow the enemy to keep on condemning you when God has forgiven you, when God has chosen you. The woman has isolated herself from the people. She has a special time that she goes to wear. But that is the person that Jesus has to go and wait for. She was not the one that waited for Jesus, but Jesus has to wait for her. To give her the water that she will test and test no more. That is how God has cast show you to yourself. But today you are moving with exploit. Today you no longer have that anger issue. Today you no longer have that spirit that controls you to do wrong things. Today you no longer do those things you do before. Today you no longer steal. Today you no longer lie. Today you no longer prostitute. Today you no longer smoke. Today you no longer walk against the will of God. Do you think the enemy is happy? They are not happy. Things are working for you. You are seeking God first and everything is falling into place. They are not happy. They are going to do a lot of things to you just like Job. Feeling that you have been attached to, to those things. Those things are the things that makes you to love God and be serving God. They want to try you. But child of God, don't lose focus. Because the love that God has for you cannot be stopped. He has chosen you. He has loved you. He has called you his own. He has shown you mercy. Walk in the grace and mercy that God has given to you. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. Just give him glory. Give him thanks for allowing God to use you, to choose you, to make you, to break you, to remold you, to shape you to who you are today. What a great love. That you should not joke with, that you should not allow anything, the agent of darkness and all, to push you to go against it and to abandon the love and the grace that God has given to you. Work on it. He has given you that power. Tread on it. Move on it. Go, pursue, overtake, recover all. That is what He has for you. God bless you. Shalom.